What's going on, guys? It is your boy Forte, and we are here to talk about some Hellblade 2, one of the most anticipated games of 2024. A lot of people got this as a bookmark for their year. A lot of people are very excited to see what this game is going to be when it finally comes out. And we finally got the chance to see a little bit of combat gameplay during the Game Awards last year, and that was very, very welcome to see. But that's not all. We definitely have to see more. But with that being said, I definitely want to talk about a leaker, you know, Nate the Hate. Shout out to him. He was on the Spawncast, as he always is. And he talked about how Xbox has some internal mock reviews for the game. And we're going to talk about where those landed at. But first, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It definitely helps the channel a lot and helps this channel grow. And I really appreciate you guys and all of the love and support. So let's get into it. So Nick the Hate, he talked about it on Spawncast. He was like, he heard that there were mock reviews done for the game and that Xbox is expecting very widespread, critically acclaimed for this game, like a lower to mid to lower 90 overall, you know, score for this game. And that's incredible if that's the case. Now, this isn't the only time that we got some type of mock review done under Xbox. I believe they did one for Starfield 2. They expected it to come in a little bit higher and it came. It came in high at first and then over the course of the next couple of weeks, it dropped down, um, mostly getting hit on PC a lot, um, some Xbox. But in general, this is something that a lot of outlets do just to basically gauge their internal view of what the game is so they can kind of have expectations of what they think is going to be on the outside. You know, a lot of times those things line up the way they think they are, but then sometimes they don't because there are certain things they just don't account for. But I think as long as the combat is what we want it to be, as long as they make the puzzles, not a lot better, but just better in general, because I didn't have a problem with the puzzles. I know a lot of people in my circle do, they thought it was a little bit tedious. It was like just all over the place and it took the too long to solve. And I get it. I mean, if you can make those better, I will always take them to be better. I think the biggest thing for me was combat and the combat just didn't have enough variety in it. Outside of that, I love the game. The game was phenomenal. Just make sure you play with headphones on. And if you do that, you're going to love the game. Because I think story-wise, they're going to definitely ratchet it up. I really want to see where they're going to go with the story because you definitely finish out the situation she was having with her loved one and, you know, all the things that was happening inside of that game. And it feels like she conquered a lot of those fears that she was having and a lot of those demons. So I'm really looking forward to where the story in this one is going to go. Uh, but the one thing I will say is seeing you with sacrifice had an 81 Metacritic on PlayStation that was great. It was good. That's when they were independent, too. Now that they got the money of Xbox behind them, I'm expecting huge strides in that department. I'm expecting bigger and grander areas and set pieces and stuff. And we got a chance to see some of that stuff over the course of the last couple of years that I'm showing it off. But I think that's what people are super excited to see because this game was already a looker on a PS4 and Xbox one. This is going to have to like really showcase why you have an Xbox. And once again, I don't think that this game has as much pressure on it as something like Starfield did, but this is a game that we have been looking forward to ever since the purchase of this studio, ever since Ninja Theory became first party under the Xbox umbrella. So, what do you guys think about this? Hellblade, internal reviews. Do you think it's going to land in that low 90 Metacritic? Do you think it's going to be higher? Are you just tempering your expectations? I definitely want to hear what you got to say about that. There is a lot of different things we're going to talk about in the new year. It's 2024, man. Xbox is going to be rolling. There's a lot of other things we could talk about. We could talk about how Xbox might be going third party and how everybody going crazy about it. And I don't know. It's like, you know, to me, is it a big deal? Check it out in the video that I make next on that. But 
with that being said, guys, truly appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and follow me on social media at gamey underscore forte. I do DPS podcasts every Thursday with the homie Slow Mo Backslap. That's going to be linked down in the description too. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video because we're going to be doing this a lot more in 2024. I appreciate y'all. I hope you appreciate me. Talk to y'all later. Peace.